Yeah. So, you know, the, we had a hard time trying to um, capture the value of all this new innovation. And, and, and so we, and so I know I spent a fair amount of time trying to understand, you know, how can we measure this? Because, you know, it doesn't get captured in incidents and death rates that doesn't capture what we're seeing in the clinic. What we're seeing in the clinic are more and more patients alive with disease for longer periods of time. And so the statistic that me measures that is called prevalence. And so disease prevalence has actually been increasing dramatically. Uh, and it really, pro it, it pivoted with the introduction of, um, with uh, Vivacizumab, but it really pivoted again with the introduction of the PARP inhibitors. Um, and so our, I think what patients have to look forward to is that, you know, some of these interventions now are actually impacting overall survival. So not only are we um, uh, um, developing therapies that are, that are allowing women to live longer with cancer, we're also developing therapies for which a large proportion of patients are never going back on treatment. And of course, obviously we need to follow this out farther, but I think the SOLO2 data, which was looking at the role of Olaparib in women who had, who had responded to platinum and they received it as a maintenance, the fact that 28% of those patients at five years still had not recurred is a phenomenal statistic. I mean, I, people, it's just, we never had this conversation, you know, 10 years ago, we never had this conversation. So this is a remarkable achievement and change in the natural history of this disease. And so our hope is that if we keep stacking these kinds of improvements on top of each other, that we will, you know, uh, continue to affect not only the expectation for five years, but now we can maybe start talking about 10 years survival. So patients have a lot to look forward to. I encourage them uh, as, as, as vehemently as I can um, uh, to part help us by, by, particip by participating in clinical trials that are looking for new ways. All of the drugs that I've talked about today got there because there were brave uh, women and families who were generous enough to, to, to participate in these clinical trial activities. And yes, it changes the standard of care. And we've had a, we've had phenomenal success in the last five years. It's, it's, you know, I've lived through it when we went through, you know, almost a decade with no new approvals to the point now that we're, we're having two, three a year, which is, you know, it's a tremendous, it's a tremendous uh, blessing and an honor to be able to, to participate in that process. But, you know, we couldn't do it without the patients.